Revelation time! Praise the Lord, my brothers and sisters. It's your boy, Sean the Intercessor. Some of you all know me as Day Day Royalty Official, and some of you all know me on Facebook as Day Oliver. It is revelation time. So let me give you this revelation, this quick revelation, okay? I'm going to try to talk slowly as possible. Not! But anyways, here we go. So I was at work. Since today was my last day at work, I'm going to miss my co-workers, but God has called me to the next, and I got to be obedient. So I was at work, and God gave me this revelation. I thought I was done with the word mimic because God was ministering to me about this word mimic when one of the pastors at my church were talking about the word of God in the book of Genesis. But Holy Spirit came to me, and he says, what's wrong with people? And people, he was also, also talking about me too, but he was talking about people in general, especially the church, is that the reason why we're so messed up, the reason why we are wanting to be like this person, wanting to be like that person, wanting to be like this person, is because we have decided not only to follow the wrong people, but, listen to this, y'all, we have this phone, this cell phone, this cellular device, any devices that allow us to put these people in our faces because we want to be like them. We want to have hair like them. We have we want to have a fit body like them. You know, we want to seem like them. We trying to be like them so bad. We want to mimic them so bad to where we can't even accept who we really are, who God has called us to be according to his word. See, one thing that God had to get me to understand and know is that this whatever we put before our eyes on with this phone will lie to us. But if we put the word of God in front of us, if we substitute the phone with the word of God, the word of God will help us enrich us, show us the truth. Something that some of us can't handle, but we have to know it. The word of God says that we're fearfully and wonderfully made in God's image. The word of God has called us to live holy and righteous lifestyles. The word of God is the truth. We can't put something else in our face as a lie, but we, it agrees with our flesh, so we want to, how do we say it? We want to go with it. Remember, the flesh and the spirit is always toying with each other. And sorry if I'm working in circles. But anyways, the flesh and the spirit is always toying with each other. What I mean by that is the flesh doesn't want what the spirit wants. And the spirit does not agree with what the flesh wants. The flesh wants us to commit sin, to live in sin, to think we should be someone else when we should not. But the spirit wants us to live holy, live righteous, you know, be obedient to God and be okay in the skin that we are because we are fearfully and wonderfully made in God's image. Hear me, somebody. I'm talking to somebody. So what we need to start doing, people of God, is we need to start putting lies in our face, saying that we're this way, saying that we're that way. I want to be like this person. I'm ugly. I'm insecure. I have low self-esteem. We need to stop accepting the lies that this phone may give us, that, 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 that the world may give us, and we have to start putting that word in front of us, start studying that word and putting it to action and say, I am beautifully and fearfully, wonderfully made in God's image. We are beautiful. We are royalty. We are God's chosen possession, according to 1 Peter 2 and 9. So why do we continue to put before us lies when the word of God is put there and it speaks volume? It speaks total truth. We're not ugly. Don't listen to these so-called preachers that, you know, their names are so big and they're so puffed up in their head that they want to call you. No, you're not ugly. They're ugly on the inside, but they can't realize it because they're so focused on their names being in bright lights. None of us are ugly. We are all fearfully and wonderfully made in the, in the, in, in, in the image of God. So I just wanted to share the revelation with you because that's what the Holy Spirit was speaking to me about today. And after I received that revelation, after I said it, which I know it was the Holy Spirit, I was like, wow, God. Wow, God. We put a lie. We, we rather accept a lie than the truth. We rather accept what the enemy puts before us over the word of God. We got to stop doing that, people of God. We have to know that we're fearfully and wonderfully made in God's image. We have to understand that and we have to know who we are, who God has called us to be. 
We can't go off what the world has called us to be. We can't accept what the world has called us to accept. We have to only accept what God has called us to accept. So always remember, people of God, as I end this, God loves you. God has called you to be fearfully and wonderfully made in his image. He saw the best in you. Despite your flaws, he saw the best in you. And God is still willing to use you. He's still willing to use you and he still loves you. So don't let the enemy beat you up. Amen. Glory to God. And you guys have a blessed day. Share this with someone. Blessings to you all.